Today's a big day for Azerbaijan. It's the opening ceremony of the Baku 2015 European Games. This is the first time it's been held, and at a cost of $6.5 billion for new stadiums doing up Baku and paying athletes to compete, the Azeri government wants it to pay off. So, for the opening ceremony, we popped down to one of London's only Azeri restaurants to watch it on the telly and try out some food. Azeri Cuisine is on Caledonian Road around the corner from King's Cross. It's owned by Farkadin Amiraslanov, who came to Britain a decade ago. The room is spotless but empty. It's Friday afternoon, so most people are at work. We wait for the ceremony to start. The Azeri autocrat Ilham Aliyev appears on the screen again and again and again. Someone might get the impression he controls the country's media. The ceremony starts. A man appears on screen. He wails and gestures. Nabir, Farkadin's son, tells us it's traditional Waziri singing. Nabir excitedly talks us through the menu. We want something traditional. He recommends the Palmani and the Georgian Kinkali, both of which are boiled meat dumplings served with chilli sauce and sour cream. Mmm. The ceremony continues with dancers and a big red ball that bursts open with balloons. It probably symbolises the moment the finance minister was told how much everything costs. Farkadin gets on with cooking up the takeaway orders rolling in. Nabir is shy and doesn't want to speak on camera, but he's very friendly and charming. He is excited about what the games mean for Azerbaijan's standing in the world, and also because he's a keen swimmer. I asked Nabir what he thinks of reports that President Aliyev has cracked down on human rights ahead of the games. He says he's not aware of them, but he wants people and their freedoms to be respected. He loves London and Britain, he says, because his dad could start a business here and the people are friendly and respected. The food arrives. It's heavy. It's filling. It needs the chilli sauce, sour cream and lashings of salt and pepper. We breathe heavily and should have ordered the kebabs. Nabir says bye. The ceremony continues with dancers in traditional Waziri dress. Farkadin watches quietly as the television's noise fills the empty restaurant. Now the athletes are being paraded, led out by women wearing what looks like upside down medieval chastity belts. Aliyev waves and claps. He stands as the stadium erupts with the arrival of the Azerbaijan team. Then, all of a sudden, Lady Gaga appears singing Imagine, John Lennon's famous anthem for peace. I hope the irony is lost on Aliyev. Halfway through Gaga's performance, noise comes from Caledonian Road. Chanting, bells and drumming grow louder. Farkadin and another man from the restaurant head to the window. It's the Hari Krishnas who have decided to visit and distract us from the Baku 2015 ceremony. Perhaps there's a metaphor in this. Azerbaijan doesn't need big showy events like Baku 2015 to enhance its status in the world. It needs to do two simple things. The first is democratic reform, and the second is to send more people like Nabir and Farkadin out into the world, because they represent the best of Azerbaijan more than the Aliyevs ever could.